Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I'm going to do our first Unity tutorial. So um, I've gone ahead and downloaded the Unity Hub. And um, the Unity Hub is basically a new dashboard or hub, as the name suggests, um, to handle all of your Unity project files and install files. And there's also a nifty learn tab where you can get some cool um, templates and resource projects here. Um, all of these are available in the uh, asset store like usual but some of the uh, more useful ones like the particle pack and stuff are there as well as this new uh, getting started series of lessons so to install unity you're gonna go to the installs part and go to official releases and you're gonna want to choose the um, LTS version and what that means is long-term support so that's the most steady stream and that's the one that they're gonna support for um, a while and they're gonna release a couple tech versions after that um, in between the long-term support streams but you're gonna want to go with the long-term support streams for all your major um, projects unless you're feeling really um, if you want to be cutting edge and trying to use the latest features or you really rely on one of those new features then all right yeah go for the the newest uh, of the best you know the newest of the new there's also beta releases down here where you can try out the latest ones. Uh, you'll need this version in order to try the new um, Unity project files that they released for free, the new asset files. Um, you'll need the the beta 9, 2018.2 uh, beta 9 in order to use that one. So we're gonna go ahead and go to official releases and install the LTS, which I already have. And to make sure you've done it, you go to On My Machine and you'll see which ones are installed. And you'll see that I have the LTS as well as the Beta 9 to try those new assets. Uh, once you've done, once you're done installing the Unity files, you're going to go over to Projects, and you can create a new project by hitting New. This will let you choose your project name. I'll call this YouTube Unity and we can choose which version we want to use. We're going to use that uh, 2017 LTS build and we can choose which template which we're going to just do uh, 3D. In the beta build you'll notice that there's actually quite a few new uh, types of templates we can use here but they're all in preview. Excuse me. We're going to go back to 2017, choose 3D and create project. Alright, we're back. So uh, we have Unity 2017.4 open, and um, I have mine organized this way. If you go to Window and go to Layouts, you can do a 2x3 split, a 4 split. This is the default scene view that you probably have. Um, so what I like to do is I go to Layouts and I choose 2x3 split so I could see the editor window right here our game window down here and then um, our game items are here and then for our project files um, it kind of takes up a lot of space since all this isn't really used so I like to drag it uh, below here that way um, we have everything a little bit more organized you know because I, I tend to use this view a lot more so I want that nice and big. Uh, but this is just me, you could have it however you like. Just remember that the um, windows are labeled. So we have scene here, game here, hierarchy there, project here, and inspector over here. So um, as long as you're making sure that you're in the same uh, tab as I am, you should be fine. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, create a, uh, let's see, let's go to component, no, let's go to game object. Go to 3D object and let's create a terrain. So um, we can create a lot of different kinds of objects here. So we create 3D objects, which include cubes, spheres, capsules, cylinders, planes, quads, um, ragdolls, which are a little bit more complex, terrains, trees, wind zones, which will affect trees and um, grass and things like that, as well as 3D text. So again, we're just going to make a terrain. And if we look here. Uh, we now have a very large terrain. Now we need some materials 
uh, for this terrain. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and um, I guess we can do this. Let's go ahead and make a new material. Oh, this is a texture. Okay, so we're going to grab some textures. Let's go over to our asset store and find some textures to use. So let's go to window, click on asset store, and I'm going to make mine maximize so it's easier to see. We're going to right click on asset store and go to maximize. And this is the Book of the Dead um, asset pack. This is the one that we need the beta for. We're not going to use this, but um, just that's the one I was referencing. Now if we go to all assets up here, we can choose under 2D textures and materials. And then under price, we're going to lower this down to free because I don't want to use anything that costs money in my YouTube series. That way um, it's very easy to use and anyone can access it. I want it to be accessible. So let's look through here. Um, this kind of looks okay. What is this one? John's Junkyard Assets. This looks kind of cool. Uh, let's go back. Whenever you're ready. We're going to click on this one right here. This one is use. <laughs> sorry. Free ground materials. So um, it's we're going to use these. Uh, they're free. There's lots of different ones to choose from, so we can pick a couple and see what looks best. And uh, yeah, I think this will work out. All right. So let's go ahead and import this. You may have to download it first. If you hit download, wait for the download to finish, and then click on import, and it'll import it into your package. Or import the package into your project, I should say. All right, so now the package is ready to import. We can choose exactly what we want to import. And I'm just going to leave everything in here because I want to kind of pick and choose. So let's go to import and wait for that to finish. All right, now that it's imported, we're going to right click up here on the asset store and minimize it. That way it's not up there anymore. And we're going to click on scene again so we can see our scene and we're going to start using some tools in the uh, terrain so if we click on terrain you'll see that we have a uh, raise and lower terrain which says click to raise hold shift and click to lower so we can try that now let me get a, a little further away from this I'm just using WSAD to zoom in and out and um, I'm going to go ahead and draw all the way around here. It's a little hard to see right now, but if you look at the bottom, the terrain is raising. It's rising up like this, and if I go back down, we can see that we have some mountains starting to show up. They're not great looking mountains, but there's some cliffs here. And we can go over here, and we're just drawing and drawing, and it kind of almost randomizes it. You can also choose some textures here to make some bumps if you want. And then if you hold shift, like I said, you can make some go back down, make it go back up, and get a nice uh, look going here. However, if it's just white, it's kind of boring and hard to tell um, where the cliff edges are. Even with just this blue highlight, we can kind of see a little more of it over here where it's washed out by the sun. So um, we need to paint some textures. So up here we have some other um, terrain tools, including paint height, uh, smooth height, paint texture, paint trees, paint details, and terrain settings. So I'm going to go to paint texture. And then we're going to add a texture by clicking Edit Texture and Add Texture. And we have to choose our albedo or our regular map, um, which we can just go in here and choose one of these diffuse uh, grasses here. So I'm going to choose this grass. 
and then we don't have to put a normal map but um, this one does happen to come with normal maps and that'll just give it a little bit more texture and I'm just gonna choose I don't even know which one really goes to that but I'm gonna choose this one uh, we'll see if, if it adds a little texture to it all right so I add and you'll see that all of the ground is now made up of this repeating texture and if we're on the floor we can see it looks kind of like grass but we can also see that the um, the mountains are also grassy which doesn't look too realistic so we need to change the texture of the mountains so we'll go over to the paint texture tool again we'll go to edit textures and add texture and then we'll select the new one so this time we're going to choose uh, what can I choose which one won't look too bad this may or may not work out but I'm going to try it I'm going to grab let's see I'm going to grab this one just because it's a really different color and then for the normal map on that I'm going to go for this one I think that's the right one and we'll add so now I can go in here and anywhere that's raised off the ground I can click on this texture and paint that in so we can see that uh, we're now getting a lighter mountain rocky texture wherever there's some lifted areas and if we go down to the kind of the ground floor down here we can see that that's already starting to look kind of like something right we can just fill in any parts that are missing um, it's already starting to look kind of like a game now we have uh, landscapes with different textures and um, I think that's where I'm gonna pause it today so thank you so much for watching and have a good one peace hey thanks for watching this tutorial uh, be sure to support me on patreon and you'll get your name in every video produced while you're a supporter and you'll also get access to project files for all of our game projects including game salad game maker studio 2 unity and unreal engine uh, they're not quite all up there yet but i am uploading them and i am um, organizing all that now for you so be sure to jump over to patreon and support me and uh, thanks again for watching enjoy the rest of the series peace